Hi, I'm Anthony from the London Electric Radiator Company. We quite commonly remove storage heaters and replace them with efficient, stylish electric heating systems. So I'm just going to explain how to remove a storage heater safely in this video. First thing you should do is go to aic.org.uk and check the model and serial number of your heater against their register just to check that it hasn't got asbestos in. If quite a number of the older models particularly do have asbestos in. If it does have asbestos in, you need to get specialist help to remove it. Second thing you need to do is isolate your um, storage heater from the electric supply. Uh, quite often you'll have two fuse boards or consumer units and you need to make sure they're both turned off or the supply to the storage heater is both turned off. Then you need to come in, take the spur off the wall and just verify that that electric has actually been isolated. The spur is the switch um, that the storage heater will be wired into. Once you've verified that that is off, you can safely remove it. Next job is to remove the front panel, which is on this model secured with some screws on the top of the heater. Once you've removed these, you can just pop it off, put it to one side out of the way. Before you remove the heater, you need to make sure it's been turned off for at least 24 hours. This one's been off actually for 48 hours and there's still a slight residual heat in it, um, but it's still cool enough to uh, take, take the bricks out and remove. So we're taking off the internal cover now, which is just screwed in around the side. Those screws come out quite easily and then you just pull the, pull the cover up and out. Uh, inside the heater you'll notice that there is uh, insulation there in front of the bricks. Quite often this could be split in older heaters so if it is you might want to wear a dust mask just to stop, an, stop you inhaling any, uh, any dust. And also if you're not used to doing this job you can, um, if you disturb the insulation around the bricks too much you can get a bit of dust then too. I always wear gloves when I'm doing it, just in case there is residual heat and the bricks are quite, can be quite rough and the steel edges can be quite sharp. So this is the heater with the first layer of bricks taken out, revealing the elements. I'm going to pull the elements slightly forward in, the, in a minute and just so we can get to the, um, the bricks at the back. So take out the six bricks at the back, stacking them up there. They're very heavy. Um, and they need to be disposed of carefully. So that's that, that's out. So we've just got the, the sort of empty carcass now of the storage heater. It's still um, fastened to the wall. So we're now we're just going to release the two screws on either side. will release the, the heater carcass from the wall bracket. If the heat is near the corner you might need a shorter screwdriver or a pair of grips to get the screw out. So I'm just releasing that one with my hand in the, on the left there and then the heater will lift up out of the bracket. Now they have feet on them and quite often people tuck them underneath the carpet or the floor coverings so you might need just to wiggle them out and then you can take that heater out into the recycling. The last thing is the wall bracket. Undo the screws on that and remove it and take that out into the recycling as well. So thanks for watching. If, you've got, uh, if you're thinking of replacing your storage heaters with uh, stylish, efficient electric heating, then you can give us a call on this number or visit our website. Thank you.